this video, I'm going to show you how you connect your Arduino device to Node.js. Okay, so this tutorial is focused on that you already know some things about Node.js, but you're new to Arduino, because that was my situation five minutes ago. And I just installed it, and uh, that's what I'm going to show you now how to do it. Um, so that's also based on uh, Mac OS X, because that's my OS, and I don't have any experience with other OS's. So uh, when you got the device, the first thing you got to do is um, install the software, which is free on the Arduino website. Uh, by the way, all links are uh, on my blog, which I'll link to in the description. Um, so you're going to install the installer for OS X, if you're on OS X. And then uh, the application will look like this, which is pretty similar to, to the processing development environment. That's because processing also is also open source, and they uh, I think they just used... Uh, the whole environment uh, of processing. It's also pretty similar because in processing you have like a setup function and a loop function. Um, even though uh, processing is for visual visualizing um, stuff on screen and Arduino is for um, manipulating a hardware device, which is are totally different things. They still use the same structure and it works really well because when Arduino you, you also have to set up things and when that's done, you want the loop because basically it's just a device which runs until you plug it off or anything, and uh, so therefore the loop is very handy. Um, okay, so I already have some code here, um, which I'm going to show you how I, I got that. So um, to connect it to Node, I used the Duino module, which you can install really easily by, by using this command. And the Duino module uh, consists of a, a couple of things. It is um, uh, for one part, uh, an extension for Node so that it can interact with COM devices, mainly the Arduino connected by USB to your Mac. And on the other hand, it contains a script for your Arduino, which you you just have to copy over into this uh, into the sketch as it's called, um, which which will compile this file and put it in, and then put it on the Arduino, upload it to the Arduino, and. Um, and then uh, the this file is, is focused on um, listening to the node port through the USB cable, and then uh, therefore you can do anything you want with it. So basically, this is a, this is a two-way API. So on the first, you have the node side, which which uh, is an extension to node, so that you can connect to your Arduino. And the second part, you have the software for the Arduino, so that it listens to node. Okay, so you download this rep you download this module, and I already did that, and it's over here. The first thing you gotta do is uh, copy over the file, uh, which is intended to, to be put on the Arduino over to the sketch, so so the the Arduino software can compile it and put it on the Arduino. So uh, we're gonna do it right now. the The file is based of uh, is is located in Arduino uh, source and then do dot eno. So you just can copy this over into the Arduino sketch file, save it. And um, let me just connect my Arduino real quick. Booting up right now. Okay, it's done. So now I click this button. So uh, here it says it's done. Get to write your own uh, Arduino application using Node. Um, so uh, what you what you can do is, is look at the example they posted on uh, their GitHub page. Uh, which is a very basic example where they blink the, the only LED light that, that comes uh, on board on the Arduino itself. If you want to do it, uh, let it have extra cool stuff or build a robot or something, you just need to buy extra parts that you can plug into your Arduino. But uh, it, with default, it just comes with a LED light. Um, there are also other examples uh, in the example folder, so you can check it out. This is the basic example that blinks the LED light. So uh, I copied it over, over here. Uh, and I made a, a small adjustment. What I did was uh, instead of it blinking, so it going on, off, on, off, I made a bleep function, which will will um, will, will turn it on, wait a, a small amount of time, and then turn it off again. Uh, and that will loop uh, every second. Okay, so here you can see my MacBook, and it's connected with a USB cable to my Arduino, which isn't doing anything right now. And if I run the script. You just run it real click quick. So I run this no script. And I press enter. And it doesn't say anything here because it's running. And if you look at the Arduino, we have to look at these lights here. Now if we can get the sharp. And uh, the top light is the, the blinking one. And the 
I guess the TX and the RX are there for um, letting me know when there's data coming in through the USB cable, I'm not sure. But the L part is, is now blinking and that's uh, going on real fast, going on real fast and uh, that's what it's supposed to do, so uh, it works, great. At this point it's just blinking on and off, which isn't really interesting. But uh, I connected it to Node and that opens a lot of possibilities on, on cool stuff you can do with it. For example, in another video uh, I showed you how you can connect Processing.js to Node.js using Socket.io. Um, which draws stuff to the canvas based on tweets that come in. So for example, you can now blink your Arduino based on tweets that come in. Or even cooler, you can like hook it up to the Google Analytics API. And every time a, real a visitor comes in through the real-time uh, uh, view, I, I guess there's an API call for that, then, uh, then you can blink it or whatever and make it really cool like that. 